Portlanders deserve for this conversation to be completely transparent. Fresh off his re-election, Mayor and Police Commissioner Ted Wheeler voted against slashing $18 million from the Portland Police Bureau's budget. He was one of three nay votes. Commissioner Amanda Fritz and newcomer Dan Ryan joined, all three arguing the proposal would have dire consequences, forcing PPB to make layoffs amid a record year for shootings and violent crimes. We need to identify the root of our problems and to identify and invest in upstream solutions. As we heard from both the police chief and the budget office, this 18 million proposal is a threat to our current public safety. Commissioner Joanne Hardesty, the first black woman to serve on Portland City Council, proposed the cuts. At Thursday's meeting, she didn't hold back. I want you to know that your vote against this amendment means that the status quo continues on. So we'll continue to talk about black lives, but we won't actually do anything to make black lives better. Hardesty's push to cut $18 million from PPB's budget and spend it instead on food and housing comes months after council slashed $15 million from the Bureau back in June. Critics noting it fell far short of the $50 million in cuts activists and protesters have called for. Anti-police protests have become a frequent ritual in Portland since the death of George Floyd in May. Thursday, Hardesty said the message of the people is clear, they don't trust their police. That point made all the stronger this week, she said, when Portland voters overwhelmingly passed a measure to establish a new police oversight board with the power to fire officers. Thursday, Hardesty took aim at lagging response times, which the Bureau has blamed on officers being stretched thin because of protests and retirements. Portland police has one basic job, and it is to solve crime, and they're not that good at it. I can't support cutting the police budget further. But today, her fellow commissioners disagreed, arguing they couldn't make such a drastic cut with no alternative to Portland's police force in place. The amendment fails. Maggie Vespa, KGW News.